Welcome back, welcome back to Gardening the Bird with your girl Portia. We are here in one of my mini raised beds in my backyard here in the city. Up front, I have potatoes, turmeric, and sweet potatoes growing. Now, the potatoes and the sweet potatoes that I have growing came out of the grocery store that I let sit in my window and sprout eyes and then I drop them in the soil. Now normally I grow them in um, buckets, pots should you say, but they're not getting as big as I want them to. So now I decided here in zone 9B I went to my local Walmart and they had seed potatoes and what is the sweet potatoes so they got the sweet and the seed potatoes um it's five in a pack for 324 for the potatoes but it's three for the sweet potatoes i think that's a pretty good um price to pay and i'm gonna go ahead even though i recently planted garlic here it looked like they died back and to be honest i don't think they're trying to come back but i can't just it's bothering me to see space that I could be using for something. So this bed had already been treated in um, with cow manure and um, organic soil before I put the garlic in there. So it's just kind of been sitting. If I can use those words, it's just been sitting in this area. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is plant some of these sweet potatoes and regular potatoes in this bed and I'm gonna dig it in and then once they reach a certain height I'm gonna buy more potting soil and go ahead and cover it up that way until I reach a certain level but real quick let's see what these potatoes and sweet potatoes look like this is my first time purchasing um, the seeded potatoes and the sweet potatoes from my local nursery so let's check them out so I'm not sure what they are supposed to look like but I do see the eye they're a little tough, maybe a little soft, but not that, that much soft. I'm just heavy-handed. But I do see the eyes. I'm pretty sure I can probably cut it, but since it's only like one eye, I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to drop these potatoes in there. They're a nice size, so I'm going to have to dig a pretty good hole. I'm going to drop these potatoes in there just like this with the eyes sitting up, just like this in the soil. The sweet potatoes, I don't see any slits in them. I know most people will say put them in water until the slits come, but I'm not going to do that either. I'm just going to chance it and drop them in the soil just like this. I'll go a small one. I'm going to drop them in the soil just like this and um, hope for the best. But I am going to divide them. I think I will put um, the potatoes up in the middle. And then the sweet potatoes down below so I know what's what. Even though the vines of them will tell me what's what. Potatoes grow up. Potatoes kind of grow up. Versus, um, you can't see it over here. Versus sweet potatoes, it's a vine. It crawls. So I will still be able to tell what is what. And you can, this is what you also call companion planting. You can companion plant potatoes and sweet potatoes together. So when I dig those up and harvest those, I can then come back through here and have some to harvest for later on during the season. But yes, this is what we're going to do with this bed, with these sweet potatoes and um, seed potatoes. I also grabbed some strawberries. You see, I got 10 roots. I don't know where I'm going to put 10 roots of strawberries at y'all. I really don't know. But I have a grow bag. And the strawberries that's in here, I got them from what? Home Depot. And it's only two in here. And some of my fruit in already. And as you can tell, I have flowers. I think they call that a mother's tongue. I mean, not a mother's tongue. I'm thinking about my that plant they call these the um what do they call these i wonder why she turning yellow i'm sorry i done got sidetracked because she turning yellow downhill 
but these can be rerooted and start a whole new plant I guess when the time comes like I got mushrooms growing in here I'm glad I didn't touch that but <clears throat> I also have mushrooms see all those are mushrooms in there I might have to scoop them out but because it looks so compact in here I didn't want to buy a starter plant of strawberries because I would have disturbed the roots more than what I wanted to so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and just stick them in each one of the empty slots that I have going on in this raised bed and I need to go get me a stand I don't like this sitting directly on the ground like that but yeah go ahead and put these around my grow bag for my strawberries and we're gonna see what these do just in case you're wondering it says full sun on the back it tells you how to plant it the space the roots the depth about the size they'll get it tells you all the things you need to plant them and again I got these um, from Walmart I did not get these from like Home Depot or Lowe's in my area I got them from Walmart so yeah don't forget to hit like and subscribe and follow me for all your garden tips especially if you're in zone 9b and want to start growing right in your backyard.